My name is GB, BDR Manager at Airtable and co-founder of Women in Sales Club, and I'm here to share with you the winning formula for handling any objection. So you build your list, you dial out, the person answers, you give your pitch, and the next thing that happens is they give you an objection. Just send me an email. Do you have a one pager? I don't know if this is right for me. Now, most SDRs, most BDRs, most folks who are outbound prospecting, they'll stop right then and there. But the best ones are the ones who are embracing the objection, they're delivering some level of value, and then they're launching the conversation back up so they can increase their likelihood of actually booking a meeting from there or getting a referral. So here's the formula for handling any objection. The first piece, embrace. The second, value, and the third is launch. So the embrace of this is you wanna make sure that people feel heard. They gave you a reason for why they don't wanna talk. If you just bypass through that, it seems like you're not listening and that gives them yet another reason to hang up the call or to tune out completely. So an embrace can be something as simple as, hey, I hear you. You want me to send you an email? More than happy to do that. The second piece of this is the value. You wanna give them a reason to stay on the call with you. You wanna give them a reason to go, hey, maybe I should give this a little bit more attention. So a value here could be, hey, just to make sure that I'm sending you the most relevant information, help me understand. And this lines us up for the third piece, which is the launch. It's not enough just to handle the objection and not ask the question. You need to invite that person back into the conversation. So if someone says, send me an email, we've already gone through the embrace more than happy to do that. We've gone through the value, which is so that I can tailor something to you that's gonna be relevant to you. And the third piece is a launch. So when it comes to problem one, two, or three, how are you involved in that? Or what's most important to you in that process? And so this can be a really great way to not just handle the objection, but to open the conversation back up so that you can do a bit more discovery and identify more areas of value for that prospect. Bonus tip for handling objections is this. When you're calling someone, they're not expecting your call. That means that their defenses are all the way up. By following the formula of embracing, delivering value, launching conversation, little by little, that person will start to let their guards down. This might mean you have three or four objections that you need to handle, but if you follow this formula, this will allow you to open up that conversation that much more, get more out of your conversation, and also deliver that much more value to the person that you're speaking to. If you can accomplish this, you can get exactly what it is that you're looking for, which is a next step, a meeting booked, a referral, or maybe you recognize that, that person's actually disqualified. So the more that you know, the better off you are. And if you enjoyed this tip, don't forget to like and subscribe.